Chapter 6 Hawkins Mansion Pierce woke up in an asylum installed in the cellars of the Riverside Institute. He met Dr. Colden, a female brat, friend of Bradley, who helped him to escape. Wandering through the corridors of this place where Dr. Fuller reigned supreme, Pierce was up. Uh, oh, enter madness. What is this? Tentacles. Oh, looks like a octopus? Uh, ah. Big black eyes, green. Uh. Who goes there? Yeah, who goes there? That nightmare again. I need a drink. You definitely need one. What are they talking about? Um, excuse me. It's bright, but I still need my lighter. <laughs> uh, anything I can read before I watch, uh, before I go to them? Oh, it's a painting. Is that a painting of Sarah Hawkins? Yes, it is. There's a signature over there. Mm. This is Sarah Hawkins' house. Oh, yeah, I recognize this table. The door. No. I want to know what Bradley and Dr. Colden have to say about all this. I'm sure they have plenty to say. Before that? Maybe I missed something before? Let's see. Where is the light? What is this? It's a... Uh broken house or something well whatever I guess that's it let's go down and meet doctor I mean yeah doctor Colden Bradley I'm awake Oh, before I talk to you, let's come here. You're awake, Mr. Pierce. How do you feel? <sighs> Did I sleep long? The day is only starting. It's fine. You don't have anything to say, officer? Well, I'll talk later. Talk later, people. There's a door here. That's mysterious. And a bottle of wine or champagne or, or or whichever that is. Oh, someone was drinking. Don't have a drink, even though I said I need a drink. No. I want to know what Bradley and Dr. Colden have to say about all this. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm not particularly interested, but here I am. How do I talk to you? Oh, I have to talk to you first. How's our fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the force, but that'll come soon. Bradley? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you alright? You look like you saw a ghost. I... There are things I can't explain. Tell us, what happened? Uh, what is this? Ah, not enough. Let's talk to Bradley first. Oh, hold to test psychology. Maybe I... Maybe I... What I'm sure of now is that the Hawkins case isn't just an accident. And what brings you to that conclusion? The fact that Charles Hawkins survived the fire. I don't understand. Mr. Hawkins was buried. That's what he would have you believe. I have a hard time believing you. You were there, Bradley. You even opened fire on him. 
I'd remember that. Why would he fake his own death? Do you think he covered up his wife's murder? That's possible. It seems hard to swallow. Don't you have anything more concrete, Pierce? Hmm. Bradley, what do you remember? I don't understand your question. The night we went into the Hawkins mansion, you don't seem to remember the tunnels and what occurred there. Uh, no memory of going down any tunnel. No, we were in the manor, then, uh... Then what? I, uh... The rest is quite blurry. I don't recall how I came back home. And then? I went to visit you at the hospital. And called on Marie's help to get you released. And you don't remember the events of the tunnel? I don't. Let's talk about something else. Are you sure? Are you not just playing fool? Tess! You two know each other pretty well. It's a tiny island. Everyone knows everyone. Especially since I'm a police officer and Marie's a doctor. Uh huh. The chemistry is obvious. Uh huh. I do seem a little bit stupid, don't I? <laughs> we shall anyway, shall. let's get back to the business at hand. Even glance at her, did ya? Oh, so I have enough skills in psychology to get that succeed. Oh, uh, what do I do? What do I do next? Uh, talk to Colden. Oh, Sarah Hawkins. I found a file bearing Sarah Hawkins' name in the institute's basement. It makes sense. Powerful family like the Hawkins had the means to hide such a disgrace. But everyone knows the Fullers have been taking care of the Hawkins for at least a generation. And all were aware of Mrs. Hawkins' fragility. Perhaps, but no one would allow a psychiatric internment. From what I read in the file, Fuller used her as a subject of his experiments. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins, subjects of Dr. Fuller. Why those two? Yes. Um, okay, full of... Given the energy he pours into Riverside, I presume it was Fuller's creation. His father's, to be correct. He was a surgeon on board the Scylla. Oh. He founded the hospital in 1904 with funds from the Hawkins family before he died and his son Thomas Fuller took over. Two families inextricably linked. Most island families are that way. Captain Fitzroy's father was also a seaman aboard the Scylla. Powerful families dominating everything. Yes, and as you could tell, Dr. Fuller is like some crazed emperor. He wouldn't be happy if he knew we were snooping around. I know the risks. I don't fear him. Do you wish to know anything else? Of course. It's our dead bodies. Dr. Fuller seems to be leaving a trail of corpses. Not to mention those strange machines, chains, and tools of all kind. Yes. I've been telling you that Fuller uses his patients as guinea pigs. What I saw was more akin to torture than medicine. Do you even hear what you're saying? Dr. Fuller is highly respected. It's the truth, Ethan. And I'll prove it to you. I'm listening, Mr. Pierce. Ooh. She's backing me up. Uh... Would you had me endure? I have flashbacks. They haunt me. What did they do to you? There was that doctor, Fuller, and a nurse. Blood everywhere. My legs, the pain, I, I couldn't bear it. I was screaming. They injected me with something. I woke up at the Institute. Bradley was there. And how you scared us. You seemed... demented. You likely woke up during the anesthesia. No wonder those memories haunt you. What in God's name were they doing to you? What happened afterwards? When I woke up the second time, I was in a padded cell. That's where you found me, Doctor. After you released me, I got a good look at what's in store for the patients of the Riverside Institute. Hallucinogenic gas pumped into the cells. An infernal machine. Horrific medical experiments. Impossible. Dr. Fuller would never do such a thing. You should believe it, Ethan. 
What Mr. Pierce saw is precisely what I've been trying to prove. Did you discover anything else? You seem to be convinced that he's a good man. I, I met a Francis Sanders. Do you know him? Of course. He's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He knew Sarah Hawkins. And that's what killed him. Hmm. What? Huh? How did he die? I'm not sure I can explain it. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. He called him the Shambler. I didn't see what. But something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sanders said it was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? Have I missed something here? This makes no sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's involved? How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife, Irene Sanders. An art collector, you say? That's probably how they met. If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household, please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it. <sighs> Stay prudent or better to confirm the truth? Yeah, I don't even know the truth. Something. You're right. Without a plausible explanation for what I saw, let's not jump to conclusions. That seems wise indeed. What? Very this will well. affect my destiny? I'll go to see Francis's widow. Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. <laughs> I'll do my best. It's not like I have a choice. Oh, uh, let's talk to you. Let us go now and learn the truth about what's happening on this island. Let us. How about you? The other night's events are still confused in my head. But you were stabbed by that get that that tentacle man. You don't even remember what happened. So sad. Let's go up. Before I go up. Oh, oh, it's oh. I, I, the same door for leaving, huh? So if I go down here, I'll leave the same way. Oh. No, I want to leave at the top floor. Yes. Chapter 6, Sanders Residence. Pierce, Colden, and Bradley decided to team up to solve Sarah Hawkins' case. They have a new trail to follow. Francis Sanders, an art collector and friend of the painter who died right in front of Pierce. The detective go to his house in order to speak to his widow about the shambler that the unfortunate man mentioned before he died. Aha, uh -huh. hello. What can I do for you, sir? You Mr. Sanders, I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. You seem fine for a widow. However, before we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. What? That is precisely what brings me here. Well, well. Look who's here. Well, you seem to be in collusion with the cat. Lady. You know each other. We met briefly. Time enough to iron out a few matters. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death? Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. 
This way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. So that choice earlier to be prudent is not particularly useful after all. She knows it anyway. May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was he? Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? Am I gonna tell her? Oh, I'm gonna use my psychology. What happened to your husband is terrible, Mrs. Sanders. But from what I saw, it was inevitable. The man I met yesterday had lost his reason. He suffers no longer, if you would allow me such a platitude. Of course. What? Affect my destiny again? Thank you for your kind words. Nobody in that hospital would have deigned to speak them to me. However, it will require more than that what? to soothe my mind. Ugh. I need to understand. How, how could this happen? In a reputed institute? And, and right before your eyes, did you not do anything to help him? Do I have enough skill for eloquence? It's terrible what happened to your husband, but I had nothing to do with it. I was injured, and I came across him in the hospital quite by chance. Injured? Well, I'm delighted to see you in such fine fettle, Detective. Not everybody enjoyed such a prompt recovery. I suppose Fuller does do miracles now and again. Luck is obviously very kind to you. Is it you. a success? Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. Ah, fine. May I ask you what Miss Baker is doing here? How do you know her? My business with Miss Baker is private, Mr. Pierce. But you do know what kind of business Miss Baker is in, don't you? I am no fool. Please believe that much, at least. Sure. How did you come to meet Sarah Hawkins? We were the wealthiest and most influential families on Darkwater. Of course we would know each other. And when Charles returned from Europe with his sweet little artist, she and her sinister paintings were destined to catch my husband's eye. He bought many of her works over the last five years. They adorn his macabre gallery. Did he speak to you, a shambler? Did your husband talk to you about Sarah Hawkins' visitor? A shambler, to use his precise terms. <laughs> well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. Oh. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Hold on. The shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself, if you feel so inclined. It is my only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Then you have paid no heed. Huh? For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see it... Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. Yeah, I won't be long. Meanwhile, I'm gonna explore your house and check out papers on... Did she really care for him, after all? What? Your house is so dark. I need my damn lighter. Oh! There's a secret door. Maybe after she's off. I mean, away. The day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives. What is that? Well, maybe I'll see it later. Oh, a reconstruction scene over here. Fine, let's do this. 
Oke. Okay. Oh. House of Artists. I'm sure. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Hmm. Friends even? Hmm, okay. Are you sure they're just friends? Oh. Sanders accession register. He wrote beside the shambler. Finally. What did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell a painting? Okay, but the painting is inside. Oh, what the hell? Oh, guys. Oh, my. He finally won. Oh. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? Oof. The painting must be a scary one. What do we have over here? Oh, I can't go through. Just looking. Nothing to pay heed around here. Uh, can't see the painting. She despises Sarah Hawkins, but it's the painting she truly hates. Why? Oh. Maybe it, it causes her husband to become bad? She first refused to sell the painting. How did that make her feel? Hmm. Oh, examine the shambler finally. Why do you guys have creepy paintings? I don't even want to live in this house if you have this kind of painting. Good lord. Ah! Why? Whoa. Whoa! The shambler. I need to see it. Oh. <laughs> okay. What's this? There must be a code for a secret. What is this? Medicine! Let's look more before I look for the shambler. You're trespassing in people's house. Is this the way to the gallery? I think so. Where does this go? It's locked. How about I upgrade my skills now? Oops. Yes, where where are the skills? Ah, good. I have 10 CPs. Come. Uh do I do what do I which one do I increase first? Maybe eloquence? How much do I need? I need six? Damn, that's a lot. Psychology or eloquence? Or, or on the anal analysis of objects? Yeah. Oh, there is some some level of increase yeah well I like I like that okay anything I missed hmm Okay, let's 
That's all. What is this? Let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. I'm gonna take that. Uh, what's the point of rotating if I can't see anything useful? What? Why did I saw blood over here earlier? Okay. Oh. Oh. You're just playing stuff in people's houses. Irene, I made a mistake. I fear that it might be too late for me. Nobody should enter, except to burn everything. I never had the courage. Pay somebody to do it. He's inside my head. I see him behind my eyelids. Each time I shut my eyes. Ooh. That's the sound of the piano. I can't take any more. I can't hold him back. Forgive me. Mm. That accursed gallery. Those accursed paintings. That accursed Sarah. I should play it again and listen to the piano. Must be the secret code. Is this the door towards the... How about... No, not yet. How about... How about I listen to this and discover the secret... Uh, Irene, I made a mistake. I fear that it might be too late for me. Nobody should enter. Except to burn everything. I never had the courage. Pay somebody to do it. He's inside my head. I see him. Behind my eyelids. Each time I shut my eyes. Damn, there's a lot of notes. I can't take any more. I can't hold him back. Forgive me. Uh, man. How do I how do I just, you know, rewind or something? Irene, I made a mistake. I fear that it might be too late for me. Nobody should enter. Except to burn everything. I never had the courage. Pay somebody to do it. He's inside my head. I see him. Behind my eyelids. Each time I shut my eyes. Hmm, let's try it out. I can't take any more. Play it again. I can't take mm. it. I can't hold it back. Up, oh, nope, nope, no, no. Am I supposed to solve this puzzle first? Uh, let's try it again, let's try it again.
Yeah, whatever. Maybe I'll solve it later. I'm not that good of a uh, I didn't listen very well, I think. Is that the way to the gallery or this door? Can't open the door. Oh! The cat is here. I could use one of those. Sleeping pills. Okay. Strange. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting. To finally give it away for nothing. Huh. Uh... Oh, okay. What what causes him causes her to finally give up? Maybe her husband. Another volume of the Reverend's wife's diary. Hmm? Oh, okay. Seeing visions, aren't they? A strange Amerindian pendant. Hmm. Where is Amerindian? Amerindian. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Before I crush that thing. What? Oh. Oh. More medicine skills. Obtained. Oh. Oh, hold on. What? This will affect my destiny. Why? Maybe I'll talk to the cat. That's twice you've stepped on my toes, detective. Try not to make a habit of it. I've got a lot of bad habits. Some can be more fatal than others. What have you come looking for in this gallery? I'm not here to create problems for you. Can I? I have a well-off client in Boston who heard about the death of Francis Sanders and wanted me to size up his estate before making an offer to his widow. Perfect, detective. The pretext, the body language. I would have bought it if it was the first time I'd seen your face. You're a good talker, Pierce. Your story will do for the moment. What? She bought it? There's more than that, Miss Baker. So people have been talking behind my back. I was almost beginning to like you, Mr. Pierce. But it stays cat for you. You knew the Sanders? Irene is a friend of mine. You have a friend? And you? What brings you to the Sanders home? I'm here on business. Irene asked me to liquidate all these paintings. She doesn't intend to hang around here for long. Why you? Believe it or not, there aren't many collectors on Darkwater. Obviously. It needs someone with a network, and a means of transport to the mainland. A choice that comes down to Fitzroy and me. And I'm far more pleasant, wouldn't you say? Really? What? You just gonna walk? Not now, sweetheart. I'd like to read this without some snoop looking over my shoulder. Read what? How about I crush this with my strength? Or read this book? What book is that? <laughs> Fine, I'll read it. It's a kind of encyclop Melius Bestiarum. I'm beginning to believe that they exist. Oh, occultism progression. Let's see. How much? Oh, it's already three over five. How good? Hey, why not? Affect my destiny, huh? Well, I read it anyway. Let's see if I can crush this. Oh, key to the Sanders Gallery. Go take a hike, detective. Fine. I was hoping I can talk more. What is that? 
The wheel and the card. What is this? That's a book I didn't notice earlier. Maybe I should look further downwards on the floor with all the bugs. Well, the lady wants his paintings to be liquidated. Is she ready for the horrors that will befall her once she's opened the door? Uh. Ah, oh man. Will I will I progress the game if I go through the door? How about I go to the piano back? I don't like it when I don't finish whatever I started. Oh, I can't use the quick key. No, no as well. Okay. I was hoping you could give me some answers, my lady. Let's listen to the, the Okay. be a secret damn it I know the sound was correct somewhere let's listen again hmm oh -ho! is this dagger part of Sanders collection or was he seeking to acquire it it is open at a page of a dagger that bears a symbol that is unknown to me. Nothing at the back. I got occultism progression. How much? Oh, well, a, little, a little bit. Ah, oh, I almost missed that. I thought it was something that I would discover later, but fortunately, I'm not. How about that lady? Now let's go. It's time to go to the door. Ooh. Is that the shambler? Let's not look at it yet. Oh, I, I can hide in here. Why? Let's see how long I can stay. Just for an experiment, you know. How long? My heartbeat is increasing. She's going crazy. Oh, oh. Okay. Will he 
burst out of the door. Okay, okay, okay! Oh. Well, I guess he's gonna die if he stay in there, so let's not. Oh! The view expanded. Is that the Shambler? What the hell is that? Some strange artifacts. And uh... Oh my... That's definitely not a Sphinx. Looks like one. Hmm. That's all you're gonna say? No, at least a comment or something. It's a strange mask. Oh, what, what is this? These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. It's very old. Ooh, that's the painting. Let's uh, go somewhere else first. The public entrance to the gallery. The public entrance oh. to the gallery. I thought we could do something about that. Ooh. There's a lot of faces. I don't have gas anymore. Where can I refill gas? Why was he so interested in old weapons? Probably for ritual purposes. Yeah, and some, some, some tablets. Hmm. <laughs> Just hmm. Why do they have this? It's like, it's like I have to hide in there for for a reason. Oh, there you go. I was just about talking about that. The man transforms an entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. Hmm. He must be obsessed. Apparently he did. He is. He was. One of the, one of the faintings of... Sarah Hawkins again, and there's a blood in here. Is that painting of? Uh. These are sculptures and uh, mm, truly artistic. Why is the window here open? Maybe it means nothing. What is that? Oh, it's just the oil. Is it gonna be dark in here later? That's why they prepared an oil. Yeah, sure. Let's examine the painting. Or not yet. What is that? Oh, far from possessing the talents of Sarah Hawkins. Drew a dagger with a tortured form down to the smallest detail. Okay. New clue memorized. Well, let's uh, examine the painting. Why do you have to be so close? Oh, oh no! Oh! Whoa! Whoa! What? You're... No! Hiding will not help you, I think. Boy, 
creature does not have a sight, so... Uh, I have to escape from him now. What the hell was that? Good question. Where is he? Too fast? I guess that's why. What the hell was that? <laughs> what? I Saw me. Salt diary. <laughs> it's not helpful. How do I defeat? I mean, how do I escape from him? What the hell was that? Whoa, whoa, whoa! The light is useless! Here. 
What do I do now? Oh shit. What the hell? So it's not sight, uh, it's not hearing, it's sight. Down. Did it hear that? Maybe I can use this dagger. How do I use this dagger? How to use this thing? Oh, maybe I should stab this thing. Oh, oh. damn it! This dagger didn't work. Oh, maybe the painting actually give us an idea. This is not the one. Use a specific dagger. Uh, let's look at the picture again. Clues, yeah. Oh, so it has a spiral shape. Can't find a dagger. It has some spirally shaped thing. Not this one. You're not gonna catch me. Is this the one? It's a, uh, it's um, there's a pointy. Oh, not this one then. Not you either. 
Ah, this dagger looks different. Ah. Die! Oh. Whoa, 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 no! Stab him! You have the damn dagger. No. Oh. No time to lose. Oh, oh my. You sure you won't be needing that hand? You're losing it, detective. At this rate, you're right. The bottle will get you before I do. What bottle? You didn't see anything. I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? Sanders was right. This painting is cursed. What are you talking about? I was attacked by a creature. I pushed it back, I think. I... I think so too. What? What? You believe me? You knew. You knew about the beast. Between what Irene told me and what I read in Sander's library, I preferred to be cautious. You seem pretty keen to go it alone. At worst, you would have confirmed my fears. At best, you would have cleared the way to my merchandise. Thank you, detective. And by the way, where do you think you're going with that dagger? It saved my life. It's an extraordinary dagger. You should talk to Algernon Drake. He's an antique dealer here on Darkwater. He'll tell you all about it. From what I saw in the ledgers, it was him who sold it to Sanders. Why are you being nice to me? It's not your style to give me free information like that. Take it as payment for being my canary. A simple trade-off. Now go see your antique seller. I still got things to settle with Irene. <laughs> Why? Why are you crying? <laughs>